Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm a regular dude walking in the word. Today, we're talking about money. We're talking about the tithe. Okay, the tithe kind of mean, what it doesn't kind of mean, it means 10%. Okay, and it was a ten, it was a portion of the money that you earned throughout the year that was given to God. Okay, it when you, if you study this and look carefully at the, the different ways that were given, it wasn't just in, in the Old Testament we think it was just 10 percent you know given you know after like our income tax it wasn't that way at all there was actually tithes tithes on some different things okay and this in this one passage here it talks about um, every three years you're to, to bring this tithe okay so it's, it's a different tithe so they were actually paying more than the 10 percent uh to god and his and his uh, the tabernacle and everything else all right Let's read here today. I want to read from Deuteronomy chapter 14, and I'm going to be finishing the chapter. I'm reading verses 22 all the way to verse 29. It says this, Be sure to set aside a tenth of all that you, your fields and produce, uh, that your fields produce, produce each year. Eat the tithe of your grain, new wine, and your olive oil, and the firstborn of your herds and the flocks in the presence of the Lord your God, at the place he will choose as a dwelling place for his name, so that you may learn to revere the Lord your God always. But if that place is too distant and you have been blessed by the Lord your God and cannot carry the tithe, because the place where the Lord uh, will choose put, to put his name is so far away, then exchange your tithe for silver and take the silver with you and go to the place the Lord your God will choose. Use that silver to buy whatever you like, cattle, sheep, wine and other fermented drink and anything you wish then you and your household shall eat it in the presence of the lord your god and rejoice and do not neglect the levites living in your towns for they have no allotment or inheritance of their own okay you took that tithe and you actually ate that tithe you ate and drank that tithe <clears throat> and it's saying if the if it's too far away for you to take a whole herd of sheep or whatever then sell you know sell the sheep and use the money to buy sheep at the location where you're going to all right and then he, he also says hey, hey don't forget about the levites they don't have uh, they're not raising a whole bunch of animals verse 28 at the end of every three years okay this is a different thing bring all the ties of that year's produce and store it in your towns so that the levites who have no allotment or inheritance of their own and the foreigners the fatherless and the widows who live in those towns may come and eat and be satisfied. And so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. Okay? So it's just some ways that God says uh, it, it, to the people of Israel, you've been blessed. I, I've, I've given you all these things. Now take a portion of that, uh, you know, the tithe, 10% uh, of that. And, and we talked about it. It was in several different things here. And give that back to God. Okay, and now before you whine and go, oh, the Lord's taking all my stuff away, you've got to realize that look at everything that the Lord has given you. Okay, uh, and, and and keep that in mind, and look at the what the Lord's what the Lord gave you compared to what I have to give away. Okay, so let me let me give you an example. Let's say uh, my my youngest son he's getting ready to to drive. And uh, and so I I tell him this. Okay, this is this is a fictitious story. I'm not doing this, but I say, hey, I've got <clears throat> uh, my son, and I I tell him, hey, I have a truck, and I, I want to give you this this nice pickup truck. It's a you know twenty uh, twenty three uh, F three fifty uh, dually, and um, I I want to give you that truck. Um, however one day of the week i need to use that truck of yours um and take some you know uh something to the store okay and and haul something and so if i could borrow that truck for that day that'd be great and so out of you know the seven days a week i every wednesday i need to use that truck um to to haul some stuff and, and then I'll, I'll bring it back to you and i'll put fuel and everything in it i just need to use it for that day okay now, I'm giving the, my son that truck, and he's using it every day, except on Wednesday during those times, he has to find another way of transportation or, or not use 
anyway of transportation. I stay at home for that time. And so you, you would think there's two ways he can respond to that. He can go, yeah, Dad, that sounds like a great idea. I get a free truck, and you're really blessing me by providing a truck that I did nothing for, and I can use it six days a week. And what, how great is that? And sure, you can use it for one day of the week. That, that'd be awesome. You know, um, that's a, the little bit, the, a one day a week, um, I'd be happy to do that for you. Okay, so that's one way he could respond. The other way he could respond is like, oh man, you gave me a truck, but now I have to give you one day? Oh, why? Why, why do you have to take this one day? You know, I, I, I can use that truck. You know, I'm going to have to find another way to get around that day. And oh no, what am I going to do? You know, you're, you're taking away one day uh, of that truck. Um, now, which is the proper way to respond? Okay, he got the free truck. Um, the proper way to respond is the way, uh, the first way, to be grateful. He's grateful because he's had that truck uh, for six days and it was free. You know, it, it didn't cost him anything. It was given to him and he's able to use that truck all the time. And on the seventh day, uh, you know, on, on Wednesday, he just, it's not available to him. You know, and so he's like, oh, okay, yeah, not a big deal. That uh, you know, it's free, so go ahead and use it. That's the way we should react when we're giving um, our tithe. Okay, we're giving a portion, and you have to look at it. Look at the great things that God has given given to us. Okay, let's say I worked at you know at, at uh, wherever some uh, restaurant, and I get, you know get four hundred bucks for the week uh, of working. You know, I, I can be grateful. Look at the 400 bucks I get. And I'm going to put 40 bucks into the offering. And um, how great is that? You know, I'm so grateful that God has given me the 400 bucks. And I am great, so grateful. I just want to put that 40 bucks in, maybe a little bit extra in there too. And bless him, you know, in this passage, he says, put this money, you know, in for the tithe. But don't forget about those Levites, okay? And uh, so... And, and bless other people in that way. So that's a way to look at it, at the tithe. Not in a negative way like, oh man, look what I have to give. No, look at what God has given you. That's the way to look at it. All right, let me pray with you. Lord God, I thank you for this time we can gather together. And I pray that we would be people that we would, would remember all the great things you have given for us. And uh, that we would really, really be grateful. For everything you've given to us we thank you lord for who you are in jesus name amen hey i want to thank you for watching i'm a regular dude walking in the word and i look forward to seeing you next time as we actually turn the page into chapter 19 1915 of deuteronomy and let's see what the lord says to us there all right lord's blessing to you mm -hmm.